không tương lai đồng đã không được Ông sao mà không được phát ngủ Thế được <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. All right, all right, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Oh, man, so 2016 was a historical moment especially for the presidential elections. We had 16 candidates on the Republican side that wanted a job. 16. What? And one of those guys was my favorite. The guy I was running, rooting for was Dr. Ben Carson. Now, there's only one reason why I chose Dr. Ben Carson to be my candidate. Take a guess. <laughs> yes, there you go. Because he was raised by a single mom. And that's what kind of gravitate me to him. His story, his being a brain surgeon, all that good stuff. And I really thought that he was he would have been a good candidate to be president. So as time went on, he fell out the race. And so I started going to Ted Cruz. Okay. Guys, remember, when 2016 came around, I was not a big Trump fan. I thought he was just promoting his brand and <gasps> I definitely was not going to vote for Hillary. So I went to Ted Cruz and then lo and behold, you know, uh, Mr. Trump became the candidate, the nominee. But I remember Rush Limbaugh was telling a story of um, one of the uh, presidential debates that I kind of over overlooked. And thanks to Doug in exile, he uh, brought the story back up and, Got to jog my memory about how racist Trump is. Okay. Now, during this particular debate, the um, ABC commentators were supposed to call these people out by alphabetical order. All right. So it's supposed to be like Jeb Bush, Carson, Christie, Cruz, yada, yada, yada. It's seven candidates at a time. And they messed the whole thing up. <clears throat> so they called Chris Christie first and he had a big applause. And instead of waiting for the crowd to go down, they call out Ben Carson's name. He didn't hear his name, right? So he stood in the back and wait for his name to be called. First, they call uh, Ted Cruz. Texas Senator Ted Cruz. And he over there and, and tap him on the shoulder and kept him moving. Then they call uh, Jeb Bush. If y'all forget who Jeb Bush is. I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. Yes, dry as Jeb Bush was almost this close to being our nominee. And then they called um, Marco Rubio. But you see Trump, Trump stood right there and did not move. He said he's not moving till you call Carson's name out. And he stood right there. The racist guy. Yes. So he stood right there. He said, I'm not moving till you call this honorable man name and let him get his shine. And you see ABC kind of, oh, Carson, you too. Come on now. You know, kind of like dismiss him. And again, Trump didn't have nothing to gain out of this. Nothing to gain out of standing right by Ben Carson. He stood right there and said, I'm not going. Don't call my name until you call Ben Carson in now first. Well, we've hit a chord. And we're not as different as people think. You know, we have a very good relationship. 
we're not as different as people think, but there is a, a certainly different style. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I have some great assets, and he has some great assets. But uh, we are both resonating. There's no question about it. Okay. And NBC just came out with their poll, and it's very similar. I, I'm in first place, yeah. and Ben's in second place. And then I went up a lot, and uh, from my original, I, I've gone up a lot. And, um, you know, it's uh, the other candidates are very similar. So maybe these polls are starting to really accurate out. And so that goes to show me that maybe during the VP, maybe he might pick Ben Carson for the VP. Now, I personally don't think that Trump should do that if he's going to try to get the black vote. Because, again, he don't need a pander. But if he does choose Ben Carson as a running mate, that would be a great choice. Because, again, Ben Carson is a smart man. He's not a politician. Trump is not a politician. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be two, two, uh, two great candidates in there that is not tied down by corruption. Um, Trump doesn't need another bulldog in the ring with him. He don't need, uh, JD Vance. You know, he needs somebody more soft spoken. He needs somebody that is more level headed and, and, Keen mind, soft spoken, right? Because what do you need Trump? Trump is already the bull in a china shop. We get that. But his running mate needs to be level headed. Not saying that Trump is not level headed, but more even keel, if you know what I'm saying. So, shout out to Doug and Exile for bringing that out. Um, if you guys got any value out of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe you see that notification bell turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest share this content with your best friends tell your mama i said hi (laughs) all right all right till next time guys i'll see you again and all you knuckleheads get off my lawn